Hey, and so are you struggling with emotional eating right now, being quarantined and locked up? Maybe you have so much emotional fire to want to grab things that you usually wouldn't, and you find your appetite being insatiable, meaning that you're literally having five meals before noon, before noon, and you just can't stop stress eating no matter what you try. You feel like you're snowballing and spiraling into a negative pattern and it's losing control. And this is the last thing that you want to happen with everything else going on. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the exact strategies that thousands of our clients are using to be, uh, to be able to prevent emotional eating, stop on his track, tracks, and even lose more weight than they were prior to the whole quarantine and coronavirus. There's this whole thing going around called uh, quarantine 15, so gaining 15 pounds in quarantine. And I'd say if you're fortunate, you're only going to gain 15 pounds um, based on you know the, the different things I'm hearing and the amount of emotional eating that's going on out there. And I want to really help. And so I've put together this video. In this video, we're going to go through exactly how we're going to do that. So we're going to break this video up into four phases, okay? And uh, in each phase, I want you to take notes. So if you don't have a pen, grab a pen right now. Turn off your your cell phone. Turn off your computer notifications and just focus with me here. Promise is going to be a huge value to you if you pay attention, okay? Trust me, you have all day to look at other social media. You have all day to look at other things. Just focus with me here and now connect with me. There we go. All right, cool. You're here. All right, so first things first, um, the first thing we got to do is be able to get the body in a state of resilience. So the first step is our resilience. You know, so many of us have, you know, being at home, we're not used to working at home. We're not used to this new routine that we have. So to us, this is foreign. We don't know what to do with ourselves. We're not, we're totally kind of picked up and put into a new brand new routine and so for many this is very foreign it's a lot of anxiety just in that alone so the first thing we got to do is build resilience to everything that's going on right now so the first thing and the way to do that is there are a couple ways to build resilience and the, the most important is to get your sleep down because not only will this help to build your immune system it is the most important thing we can do for our immune system to prevent us from getting sick but also it's going to help to re-regulate the whole metabolism and psychology and mindset of stress so that we're more resilient to stress and we're more resilient to the emotional outbreak that's caused by stress and emotional eating. So having a very, very good sleep routine is super important. And when I say sleep routine, you're going to bed and waking up at the exact same time every day. Um, before bed, you're not watching anything negative. You're not you're not going into uh, any emails or anything like that. You know, for our clients, I've um, uh, create a hypnosis script that they read to themselves and they can play to themselves as they're going down and sleeping. And as they fall asleep, the script really helps them to not only fall asleep a lot quicker, but with the affirmations, the type of affirmations that are playing in their mind. It helps to reset their subconscious uh, to prevent emotional eating. So that's an option if you have access to that. But if you don't, you could really do you know anything that's positive, a positive book, journaling, uh, something that gets your mind in a happy state because our subconscious is very receptive to uh, information right before we go to bed and right when we wake up. Those are the two times it's very receptive to information. So if you're feeding it negativity before bed or as soon as you wake up, then you're really uh, not. Then you're really compounding the fear. Okay, so number one, build a solid sleep routine. And I know that's more difficult. Uh, it's more difficult to do than say, but you practice it and you'll get it down. And if you follow the other tips I'm going to say here, it will really help. So the second thing is meditation is huge. So being able to be self-aware and step back from the trigger from the time that. We are triggered emotionally to be like, oh, I want, I need a cookie. I need a cookie, right? The moment that that happens in your body and the moment that you realize that that's happening and you step back, that time differential is extremely important when it comes to be able to prevent us from 
emotional eating. So for example, if I'm like cookie, 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 and I find the cookie right away and I don't stop myself and become aware of my internal thought patterns, then this cookie's going in my mouth and there's nothing stopping me. But if I can go into my, if I can have the awareness and say, cookie, 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 I'm looking for the cookie, but then I realize what I'm thinking and what I'm doing in reaction to that, then that gives me, you know, an extra five seconds, then I can start to intervene and I can prevent the cookie from happening. And it sounds very small, but it's extremely powerful because think about it. If I'm able to intervene my subconscious behavioral pattern and say, well, maybe I'm not going to eat it right now, but I'm going to delay myself from eating it, then me delaying it, every second of delay it makes it less and less likely to happen that I'm going to eat that cookie, okay? So meditation is extremely useful for one the self-awareness, but also for the stress resilience. Just the nature of being able to breathe from our abdomen activates our vagus nerve, which is what connects our brain, our parasympathetic nervous system, our calm flight and flight from fight and flight to rest and digest, it's the breathing. So by just focusing on the breathing, we're able to really calm ourselves down. And when we get really anxious and overwhelmed, we're able to bring ourselves back into our bodies and be more in control. So 10, 15 meditations first thing in the morning, I like to put on an app, just have really calm music to kind of get rid of the internal chatter in my head. And then I just close my eyes and focus on my breathing. I have a thought, I close my eyes and focus on my breathing, okay? Take notes, sleep, meditation. All right, I'm gonna look at my notes here because I wanna stay on track. The third thing that I use with our clients and our warriors and our inner circle is something that is extremely powerful and the most successful people in the world in all of their trades use this one key and it's actually visualization. And the way this works is the way... I like to do this because visualization is very hard and challenging if you're just starting. So what I'll do is I have my success my success journal. I'm part of the Tony Robbins Platinum Partners, so that's why it says that there. But I have like six journals right beside me. I journal so much. So I like to journal exactly what I'm going to visualize. And the visualization is who you really want to be, who you want to become in this world. And do you want to be confident? You want to be happy. You want to be in control. You want to be nice. You want to be caring and empathetic. You want to be free. You know, these are all things that you journal and then it becomes a lot easier to visualize yourself. You're sitting in a, a chair and you're in a movie theater and you're seeing yourself on the movie screen and you're watching yourself. It's, that's a very powerful way to do it. And you're watching yourself as if you, who you really want to be. You know, and you do that, I do that for 15 to 20 minutes every morning. Even if you do that for 10, do that for three weeks, you will transform your self image. You will transform who you are as a person. It's such a powerful technique. Um, if you download the book Psycho Cybernetics, you listen to the first chapter, you'll find everything you need to know right there. And, and uh, that will make you really help you because then what you're doing is you're, you're reframing your subconscious. You're, you're resetting your self image to for, uh, someone who's in control and who does not um, eat a cookie. So you can actually imagine yourself not eating a cookie when you get the impulse. And then when you're going through your day, you're going to notice, oh my God, I, I don't even want a cookie. Or I do want a cookie, but I'm not going to act on it. And it's a sense of so much freedom. So that's, that's really, really great strategy to have. So, um, of course, other things with resilience is you got to get your food on point. Now, um, we have different phases in our in our program. You know, we have the priming phase, the loading, the releasing, the maintenance, and the life after. Um, and in every one of those parts, I'm not going to share with the exact formula for each of those here, but for every one of those parts, a key essential ingredient is regularity of meal times. So you're eating the exact same time every day. You're having two, three, or oh, however many meals, but it's consistent at consistent times. So your brain knows what time to eat and what time not to eat. And it really helps with that routine. And if it's three o'clock and you don't eat till five o'clock and you have a little bit of a craving, you're a lot more resilient to that because your subconscious knows you got to wait until five. 
right? So it's very, very powerful to build these routines and consistency into your schedule. And with every meal, you want to make sure it's low glycemic. You don't want to be eating sugars throughout the day. Um, anything that's going to spike your sugar and also cortisol, which is a stress hormone, sp spikes your sugar. So it's basically the same thing as if you ate a candy bar or you're stressed. Both things increase your cortisol. And so if we can reduce our stress with the strategies I just discussed and we can lower our blood sugar, then we'll be a lot less likely to want sugar cravings because they can be emotional through stress or they can be physical through an improper diet. So if we can take care of both those two things, we'll be golden. The second thing, so number one is resilience, keeping our body resilient. The second thing is prevention, right? So part of this is resetting and reframing the subconscious mind. If you, if you imagine the, the subconscious as like a, a bucket, you know, and we're pouring clean water into that bucket, that's number one, resilience. Number two is um, prevention. So getting the dirty water out of there and preventing dirty water from coming in. What does that mean? Listen, guys, I know it's so tempting to want to go on the news and go on your phone and scroll through and see what's going on with Corona or to see what's going on with the economy. It's so tempting, but it's, it's extremely damaging to our subconscious and it's extremely damaging to your, um, your health. These, these things that you're reading on the news may or may not happen. I was talking to my wife, uh, last night and I'm like, do you know that D D Trump said this and did this? And she's like, who cares? We don't even know if that's going to happen. And I thought to myself, you know, she's so, she's so brilliant in so many ways. And, you know, this just goes to show that it's really great to have someone who's very positive, you know, bounce off you and, and kind of bonk you on the head sometimes and say, Hey, snap out of it because it's true. You know, we might be listening to the news. We might be listening to these things, but if, but there's nothing we can do to control it and we don't know what's going to happen anyway. So I prefer when I'm looking at, you know, the news to get it as fact based as possible and with less stories and less things around it. I'll put some resources below this video that you can check up on so that you don't have to listen to all the propaganda. Listen, their job is to make us scared. That's how they make money. So they want to make us scared. But in reality, what we have to do is yes, it's, it's uncertain. Yes, there are people dying, but there are facts and there's opinions and I just want the facts. And if I have the facts, I can make better decisions. Um, but there's just so much social media, so much propaganda out there made to scare you. And to be honest, I feel so much better not checking the news than when I do check the news. Not because I'm, you know, I'm very, I'm a natural born optimist, but you know, it, it just so happens that, um, when you look at the news, you know, even, even an optimist is like, holy crap, this is, this is awesome, awful. But tell me a time when the news wasn't negative. Tell me a time when it was positive. It'll always find ways to make it negative. So as much as you can, try and stay away from social media and the news. You'll do yourselves a huge favor and you're filling your brain up with garbage, your emotional eating because of it. The second thing is to get rid of the food in your house. I mean, we have a, we have a, uh, a place in our basement where we store food, you know, just in case, you know, uh, just a, enough food to last us for whatever, you know, if we don't, can't leave the house for any reason, we have enough food there. But, you know, that's something we don't, we don't go to unless we really have to. Now, I realize that a lot of people have, you know, saved food in their homes and just in case they can't leave their homes for a couple weeks because of quarantine. And that's fine. But just realize that the more unhealthy food you have in your home, the higher the risk and the easily accessible it is, the higher the risk you're going to, you're going to snack on that. So it's, this is a great, fantastic time to eliminate the desire, the, the food from your home because it's so much harder these days to go out and get food because, you know, you risk obviously getting exposure. So you're less likely to want to do that, um, in the first place. So, um, I definitely think that this is a fantastic opportunity to really leverage the fact that you don't want to go outside and get food and so not have any unhealthy food available to you at this time and that will help significantly. 
and also to eliminate any interactions with negative people. We talked about the news, we talked about food and negative people because these people will bring you down and you'll start to feel silly for wanting to be positive in a time like this and they're gonna make you feel that way. But in reality, how we feel is up to us and who's to tell us that we shouldn't ever feel silly from coming from an empowerful, confident, powerful state. Um, you know, we can accomplish so much more in a state of empowerment, in a state of feeling strong than we can in fear and anxiety. We make bad decisions in fear and anxiety. We make great decision in empowerment and strength. So it's all about state management and so hard when you have vampire suckers around you who are constantly bringing you down. So if that's, if because I know we're families and we're quarantined in our home and if that happens to your partner or your kids or your mom or your dad, you know, maybe a little bit of social distancing, <laughs> social distancing in that case might be a little bit of a good idea. Um, or just having an honest conversation saying, listen, I'm really trying to be positive here. Could you please support me in that? And anything that you have negative to say, maybe leave it for when I'm not in the room because I really want to enjoy this time with my family. I really want to enjoy myself right now. And despite everything going on, there's a lot of opportunity for me to learn, to grow, to become more, to connect with you more. And I'm feeling really difficult to do that when I'm seeing this behavior come from you, right? And have an honest conversation around that. And if there's still a want to change, that's fine. You need some alone time and you need to really take time to become more resilient yourself before you're exposing yourself to that kind of negativity. All right. Um, I'm going to pull back my notes here. So the third thing um, is to support yourself. So number one, resilience. Number two, prevention. Number three, support. Okay. Now, Support is having an accountability group, having a community who's there to support you through this. We are going through the same thing. Everybody in the world, you know, this is the one time in the world, other than maybe a, a world war, that everyone's going through the same thing together. And so we are nothing but, we are definitely not alone. We are all united in this time. And so connecting with other people is so huge for resilience and to be able to, to become and understand that everything's going to pass. It's all going to be okay. And we're all going through this together and develop strategies from others, right? That's what masterminds are for. And also support yourself with supplementation because I understand that, you know, food is not readily available at, in all places. I know in California and the U.S. they're struggling. Some parts of Canada they're struggling with food. So being able to prepare yourself with food substitutes so that if you do get hungry, you have something that's reliable, you have something that you can eat that's healthy for you, that's going to stabilize your blood sugar levels, keep your immune system high so you can fight anything that might come your way, and also to feel good and to thrive. And so I've included a supplement bundle below this video. You just click the link, you just say add to cart, and you say purchase and it's coming straight to your home within two business days. Um, you'll get it really fast and they're the highest quality supplements that you can get on the market and um, personally vetted by myself. And they're also um, the, the most cost effective in terms of this, this particular supplement line. So, um, you know, we have a beef protein, beef protein there, which is rich with collagen for your hair, skin, nails, your immune system, detoxification, very important. And it's also very, very good at stabilizing blood sugar. There's a pea protein in that combo too. So if you're vegan or vegetarian or you want to change up your vegetarian source, your protein sources, that's great for blood sugar stabilization. It's great for detoxification as well to prevent cravings. Um, and also there's a greens powder. I know produce is super limited these days. So having a greens powder and still being able to get all your phytochemicals, phytonutrients, keep your immune system high, prevent getting sick, the peace of mind that you're going to be okay, and to be able to um, get those nutrients that you might not be getting because of the um, shortage of veggies out there. Um, that's there. And then also fish oil as well because, uh, you know, <laughs> fish is not very abundant in a time like this, at least great quality fish, but we doesn't stop our body from needing that. And fish oil is an extremely anti-inflammatory. So if there's a lot of inflammation going on from the stress, inflammation going on from um, all the toxins and things that are going on in our lives right now, the, the fish oil is going to be very powerful at helping to, re to suppress or reduce that. Um, and if we don't have it, we risk a lot more inflammation coming up through our bodies. 
So that package is below. There's one for Canada if you're in Canada, one for the States if you're in the States. Um, so you can go ahead and click those links respectively to our online store. And then fourth, so first we talked about was resilience, second was prevention, third was support and supplements, and four is a plan. Listen, if you don't know what to do and you don't have a clear path, procrastination and um, you know inability to act and being unclear actually is a direct result of overwhelm and not being clear on what we need to do, okay? So if we can become very clear on exactly what we need to eat, how much, and how, when to eat it, and have a systematized process to get, not only to get control of our lives, but to get all the weight off for good and be healthier now than even before we, this whole quarantine thing started, to regain that confidence, to regain that sense of who you really are deep down inside to bring that person out. You know, it's spring and summer. That's not going to stop. That's still coming. It's a time for us to show ourselves our true selves, to have the energy to enjoy our lives, to be able to play with our family, to connect with them, to do the things that we love. This is the time to do that. We have the time to focus on ourselves. We have the time to implement these things. We have the time to come out of this and to be the best versions of ourselves that we could ever be, to be pain-free, to be able to you know, heal our bodies to the point where we can come off these medications, where we can impress our doctors, where we can do all these things. This is the time to do that now when we have the time to do it. So to do that, you need a clear and concise plan on how to make that work and and be able to execute on, on it with accountability and coaching. And if that's something that you want, the typical results that we have with our clients, women who are 45 and up, even we have women who are we had a woman who's um, just in her, her 40s, 41, I think, who who got, came on board today. And these is designed to get 25 to 30 pounds off in the first six weeks. Um, for those who follow our program, we have 100 percent success rate. And uh, not only that, but to be able to keep the weight off long term with just healthy nutrition and lifestyle change. And it really is that simple. You know, it's, it doesn't have to be so complicated. There's no fat dieting. It comes from getting the body healthy from the inside out. It's something we can all do from our homes and all through a Facebook community and all through something that never having to leave our home other than to get groceries. If you have an Amazon Prime membership, then maybe you get groceries delivered to your home. I don't even know if that's still happening right now, but it is an option. All right, so if this sounds like something that's something you would love, then you can go ahead and click the link below, and I'll take you to a uh, free training that I do that walks you through the program. If it's something you're interested in, you can go ahead and schedule a call at the end of the training. If not, maybe you can get some value from the training itself, and um, you know, hopefully it helps. But regardless, I hope this, this video has been helpful to you. If it has, make sure you subscribe. Press the subscribe button to look below. You don't want to miss any more of these videos. You can check my channel out. We have a ton more videos as well um, that are extremely valuable for, for weight loss and health and keeping your thyroid, your, your blood sugar, dia, your um, keeping diabetes under control, all these different things. Um, are through the throughout the my YouTube channel. But first of all, if you want to purchase those supplements, you can go ahead and click the, the bundles below. Um, they are already discounted. They're pre-discounted um, just for the next little while until um, you know this this whole thing returns corona goes away. We can you know get back to normal. Until then I have a little bit of a discount there for you guys. Um, also uh, if you want to schedule a call and, or watch the webinar, you can um, in the descriptions below. Subscribe, and I wish you guys a lot of love. Keep yourself safe. Rewatch the video if you need to. Take down notes. This is going to help you. And here's a, a actually a little vi uh, uh, photo of uh, our client, one of our clients who just posted today about her results with emotional eating. Take care. <laughs>